Hey guys, it's me Ashley. So today I'm showing y'all a quick video on how I achieve this game day look or pretty much like an everyday face um, when I went to Auburn for the LSU game, War Eagle. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I've already primed my face off camera and I'm using the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer and then from there I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids as well. Then taking the extra step I'm going to prime my face with the Milk of Magnesia because for that specific day I knew that we were going to be outside so I wanted to make sure that my makeup was going to last. I also concentrated it in my T-zone and around my cheeks area because as you, you know, get older, you learn your skin and you notice that certain areas of your skin get a little bit more oily than others. So that is why there is more milk of magnesia on my cheeks than anywhere else on my face. Now, I've already done my brows off camera. And I'm just taking that same concealer that I use to shape the bottom of my brows. I'm going to use that as an eyeshadow base as well. Taking an RC Cosmetics Flat Top Blending Brush. I'm just going to blend it all over the eyes, making sure to blend it well so there's no areas with more concealer than the other. Now taking a big fluffy blending brush and taking MAC's uninterrupted eyeshadow, I'm going to concentrate this color in the crease. This is just going to give us some depth and dimension for this look. And we're not going to go too heavy on the eyes, just in case you know once you take your sunglasses off, you want to look at people, there's something on your eyes. Now taking Reef Sand Hot Pot by Coastal Scents, I'm going to use this as a brow bone highlight. It's going to give a little bit of shimmer and a little bit of sheen to the brow bone, but not too much. Just, you know, go ahead and set that area in place and give ourselves a brow bone highlight. Next, I'm taking the color Antique by MAC. It's a pretty golden rustic color. And I'm going to pack this all over the lid, making sure to get really close to the lash line as well because we are not going to be using any liner for this look. Also, you want to make sure you get in the inner tear ducts as well and just make sure you are packing that color on. Now I'm taking the color brown script and I'm just going to apply this in the crease as my transition as well. Just above or on top of that uninterrupted color. This is just going to bring some color back to the crease area and let us carve it out a little bit more. Taking a matte dark brown eyeshadow, this is handwritten, and taking a smaller fluffy brush, I'm going to apply this strictly to the outer V and blend into the crease. Once again, just adding more depth to the look, but we don't want to add too much because we will be having on sunglasses because we're going to be outside tailgating with our friends. Just remember that little bit. Now taking your favorite mascara, here I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara and I'm just applying a coat. As you can see, I am kind of messy when it comes to mascara. And now I'm going ahead and using my Real Techniques Buffing Beauty Sponge and I'm just going to apply this all over the face. And this is a oil-free foundation and it lasts all day. Just a little tidbit guys, um, yes the mascara was a little bit messy but after I let that dry you can go in and kind of pretty much sweep it away because it's not going to stay on your eyeshadow. So make sure you let it dry and then you can take a q-tip or your brush and just kind of sweep on top of it and it'll pretty much go away. 
Here I am just kind of color correcting and highlighting at the same time using the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter Pen and Peach Luster. And I'm going to take the same Row Techniques blending sponge and I'm just going to blend that out. you've blended out your highlight color you're going to set it I'm using the Ben Nye banana powder um, this has really been my favorite setting powder here lately so I'm using my blending sponge and this also helps to take any type of cast that may come from it away and you can blend it out into the concealer and set it as well Here you can see I'm just going back in and making sure that our crease is well blended. And I'm also going to take the eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to sweep off that mascara like I was explaining to you before. Just sweep over those areas and they will be gone. Taking the same highlight we used on our brow bone, I'm going to sweep that into our tear duct just to open up the eyes. And then from there, we're going to take a big fluffy brush, sweep away all of that powder, and then take your setting powder and buff that into your skin as well. The key to this look is to make sure that you are setting all areas of your face that may become oily and so that it lasts all day especially since you will be outside or especially since i was outside i did not want my face to move and as you can see from the pictures before my makeup did not move at all it's going to lightly contour my face just adding a little bit of dimension back to my face because the foundation makes your face look very flat this is just, this is optional. This is not something you have to do. I just choose to do it. And then after that, I'm going to apply my blush and my highlight and we will go from there. So you want to make sure that you set your face. I'm using the NYX Matte Finishing Spray and this is going to help lock in your foundation. I'm also going to take the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel and I'm going to lock in my brows just by you know combing through them and making sure they are all in place and no sparse hairs or you know reaching out and talking to people all day. So here I am taking Terra Kiss Jordana Lip Liner and I am lining my lips and this is kind of an reddish plummy kind of color. It's very light and then from there I'm going to take Wet n Wild's lipstick and bare it all and apply it all over the lip if you want something more nude. But I wasn't really feeling the nude look for that day. I wanted to, you know, add a little bit of drama to the look so you will see the next lip color coming up. So if you don't really want to go with a nude look, you can go with a deeper lip color. Here I took Jordana's lip liner and Cabernet, lined the outside of my lips and also filled in the outer corners just to give a little bit of an ombre effect. And I added Fixed On Drama Lipstick by MAC just to complete it. I took Love Joy Mineralized Blush and added that to my cheekbones and that also gives a shimmer so that acted as my highlight. And that pretty much completed my look for that day. I wanted to have a bold lip, especially since I would have on my sunglasses. So, you know, that pretty much completed that. 
this ends this tutorial i hope that you all enjoyed as always don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and i will talk to you all in another video bye